Okay, so yesterday I kind of wanted to see what kind of MCP servers we create uh, for this kind of this LLM OS. So in my case it's the Mac operating system, uh, Mac OS, uh, and we will be using Cloud Code today. Uh, I know a lot of these uh, uh, servers that we created that can be executed with bash commands, but I kind of just wanted to create them anyway. So we have my app launcher, I'm going to show you that. We need some Brave search, I wanted to add some Chrome MCP servers so we can uh, manipulate that. Clipboard, that's a pretty interesting one as I will show you. Uh, I have my email, I have fetch, just because if we need some information on the web. Uh, I created some kind of file finder system, we can try that out, but again, bash commands is as good, if not better. And I have this system MCP, it has a lot of tools, I will also show you that. So we will be using Cloud Code, like I said, so yeah, let's just get over there and I can show you some of the things we can do with this, some simple workflows and a bit more advanced workflow that kind of impressed me. Okay, so here you can see the servers we are connected to. Like I said, we have all of this. We also have Gemini, that is a global server. So totally nine MCP servers and a lot of tools. So a simple command I can show you is just open my favorite Chrome tabs. So this is just going to open up Chrome and some pre-installed tabs like this. Perfect. You got into my LinkedIn and you can see I opened all the tabs I want to add. Reddit, Hacker News, AI Studio, ChatGPT, my email, YouTube, everything. So that is just one command we have. We can also do go to Cloud AI. Right? So, yeah, basically just to manipulate Chrome a bit. Uh, it's pretty fun. Uh, I, I kind of like the, the, that initial favorite tab, so you can just add to that if you wanted to. So that is kind of good. I was thinking like if you start up the computer, right? You kind of want to do this. Uh, but let's, uh, I want to show you a bit more advanced workflow we can do with this before we kind of go into the system and the specific ones. Uh, because I thought this one was very cool. Okay, so you can see we just got a job here. So what you need to do is find the latest AI news from the latest week. You need to compile this into an HTML newsletter uh, and send it to yeah my email. Use all the tools you have available for this. And after the email is sent, you can just log off and put the Mac to sleep. So this is kind of the initial prompt I was thinking about, so I just log on, give it a job, and I can just leave, because I know when this is finished, the computer will turn off. So let's see how this goes now, so I'm just gonna do this. So sometimes it makes a plan, sometimes it just gets going. I might have to pl click on do this autonomously. Okay, so this did like a small plan. So I might have to film the last step with my phone, we'll see. So it's going to start searching off on Brave here, that's pretty good, looking for the latest AI news. I think I put this to, uh, yeah, auto uh, agree. I will do that now at least. So yeah, just do that. Okay, so we could set that up. So this is fetch, so it's looking at all of this, um, yeah, URLs we found here. So uh, yeah, I'm just going to let this run now. Okay, so this is our newsletter, so I'm just going to say yes. Next is gonna be send this, and then probably we will shut off, we'll see. Yes, I'm gonna send that. Okay, so I was sent, so let's see now what happens if this goes to sleep. Okay, so that worked. <laughs> so I can start it up again, let's see, yeah. Okay, uh, I don't know what happened on OBS now, because uh, I could see the, uh, the Mac got shut down. Uh, so you can see now, all tasks have been completed, the newsletter has been sent. Cool. So let's head over to my email and see if we got the newsletter. Yeah, we have it here. So you can see latest AI news weekly update May 2025. OpenAI preparing to launch GPT-5 in late May. Top AI stories. You can see we got a lot of stories here. And yeah, I think it turn, turned out pretty good. And we got this nice format here. Wow, well, it's hard to zoom here. But anyway, you can kind of see it here. Pretty good newsletter in, I think we spent about 120 seconds on this. <laughs> so that was pretty shocking fast. So pretty cool. I thought this use case was very interesting and I haven't really explored it too much. But I can see there's a bunch of other things we can do too. So uh, let me just show you a few of the other MCP servers and how kind of uh, they work here now. So if we look at kind of the clipboard feature, uh, it's kind of exactly what you think it is. So what we can do. If I go to Chrome now, let's say I'm on, yeah, we found some here on Anthropic. Uh, I copy this, so right, something like this, just copy it, Control C, Command C, and I can go into my terminal and I can just uh, fetch 
from a clipboard, right? Boards. So this uh, brings up a tool we have created that's called clipboard. Yeah, get clipboard, okay. And you can see everything we copied gets into this and we can just work on it. Uh, summarize, uh, yeah, and uh, explain. Yeah, it's just summarize this. But we could use the clipboard the other way around. So let's say, write a bash command to grep mcp server, something like this. Okay, so we get it here, grep our mcp server, and set to my clipboard. Okay, set to clipboard, and we get this command right. And now we can just uh, command C, and we paste this. So we can do this both ways, we can both uh, yeah, fetch from the clipboard and we can set to the clipboard from this uh, terminal here. So that is this server. We can take a look at, um, yeah, we take a, we had a look at the Chrome server, the app server. So let's do, uh, let me close cursor. So one of the commands I have is like a preset. So I can do open my coding profile in apps. So this will open up cursor, right? And if it open up, uh, you can see we open up AI Studio, ChatGPT, and it launched cursor. So that is the setting I have for that. You can see here launch cursor, open up this. I also have um, open up uh, record profile. Yeah, that's the other one. I'm not gonna open that now because that's OBS, Premiere Pro, and some other URLs. Okay, so another thing we can do is uh, go to Hacker News, please. So this is probably just gonna trigger the Chrome tool we have. Yeah, that's working. So we can follow up with something like, yeah, I don't know. Okay, can you fetch the top 30, but I only want the AI topics. Because I only want the ones about AI. Okay, so we can do that, fetch. Then it's probably just gonna sort them and I can do some instructions. Okay, good. Uh, open up the one about the AI commentates Pong in real time. Yeah, and there we have it. So you can see, this was pretty cool. I looked at this, X-Pong. So go check this out, it's pretty cool. It's an AI commenting on this. To one, her left-handed angles are already causing Daniela some trouble. This early stage is all about finding that rhythm and Chantel's off to a strong start. What a rally. Daniela is really pushing the pace here. Yeah, that was pretty funny. Uh, but yeah, we got there in the end. So we can just go there. So no. So yeah, that is uh, another thing we can do, right? And we can, we have other tools. We can do, uh, let's say, let's check out the one about uh, the finder tool. So we can use the finder tool to find files with MCP server. I know bash is good enough here, but uh, it's just for fun. So I created the tool for this. Okay, so we found some here, 37, 499, okay. Uh, so I can do uh, open the MCP server.md in Finder for me. So we can do that, so we can pop it up where we found it. Yeah, so we, I guess we use bashed for that, but I have the bash command. So that is one thing we can use this for, that was pretty cool. Right, and we can do, uh, we can try the system one, that is pretty cool. So you can see here are the tools we have for the system. We can get some hardware information, battery, OS version. We have sleep, sleep Mac, we did try that one. Restart, shutdown. We can ping host, get Wi-Fi details, list processes. So we can do something like, uh, what kind of hardware do we have? So we can trigger the hardware tool, you can see. Yeah, we have a MacBook Pro. M3 Pro, 12 cores, 36 gigabytes of memory. So yeah, this is working pretty good. Ping a host, google.com. Yeah, we can ping Google, okay. We get some summaries, zero packets lost, 42.9 average. We can list some processes, yes. Do we get a summary? Yeah, you can see 31 gigabytes of physical memory, four gigabytes unused, okay. Use the system tool to check on thermals. So I found something here. Uh, so this is, yeah, there's using some kind of, so we don't have any warnings, no performance warnings, no CPU power record. So you can see kind of the summary here. Our display sleeps after 10 minutes. We have a CPU usage, memory, 
and we have some battery 91% now so this also works so this was kind of the system MCP tool I created uh, but we have other tools here too but they are kind of self-explanatory right DNS lookup we have some networks you could add a bunch of more of these but this was just something I added and the final one I want to show you is uh, I wanted to do like a combination of things that is pretty cool so uh, can you check what kind of system we have uh, this system this Mac uh, look a bit at the hardware and then you can go to the web and kind of search for this uh, I want to compare it to other uh, Mac M4 uh, the newest one can you do that for me and bring me a report what the differences are and just send it to my email so let's try this so this is also like a yeah what do you call it sequential order of things we have to do we have to yeah get the hardware first then we're gonna get the OS version and everything and then we're gonna use this information to compare it online so MacBook M4 versus 3 try to find out some information about that maybe we need to do some fetching to get more information and let's see what we get here so what I want to see is like a detailed versus if we need to upgrade okay so we got a report so I'm just gonna go check that okay so you can see comparison your system uh, Mac 4 so we have some differences here, 12 cores. Uh, does we get like a summary? Overall, what M4 has notable improvements, your MacBook 3 remains powerful, capable for several years to come. Should you upgrade? If your primary use for task, okay. Heavy AI ML loads, professional video editing. So yeah, you can see how fast that was. How was that? It was like 30 seconds or something. So this is just one of the use cases you can use this MCP LLM OS setup for so yeah uh, just wanted to share this it's pretty early for me early it's pretty early I haven't really done a lot to kind of explore it more but this is just like initial test and hopefully this could give you some inspiration of what kind of systems you can create by combining these LLMs tools so my favorite one was of course the I kind of like the clipboard I don't know why <laughs> I just like that one and I like the chrome one when I can open up my browsers I think that's pretty cool the favorite browser one and the uh, settings for the apps so if I want to code I can just do open my coding profile cursor and I get some URLs in Chrome open up at the same time so that was pretty cool so yeah hope this gave you some inspiration and I'll probably see you again very soon I don't know uh, when the next video is gonna be but enjoy your day and we speak soon